Uh, but welcome to Fright Fest. You're here with uh, In the Name of God. What was it about you know this film when it came to you that made you want to be a part of it? So it's actually quite simple. When I read the script, the role that I was meant to play was already sort of earmarked for me, and I read it, but I felt I can't play this character. I simply can't for artistic actor reasons, which I, w I don't want to reveal until you know it will be a, it will spoil the film. But not that I thought it was morally wrong. Just the opposite that I'm not good enough to play the role and then in the end I realized are you a coward or are you gonna dare do this so I did it and I'm very glad I did and how is Ludwig to work with as a, as a director you know he's quite a young guy how is it to you know to work with him it's very easy to work with him first of all because it was a very short shoot we shot the entire film in 22 days more or less one take the scene because we didn't have time or budget for it um, so he simply trusts his actors we cast it very well everybody knew what they were doing everybody was on the ball and we've actually made three films before four, three shorts, so we know he knows how I work, I know how he works, so it was very easy, but he's also a great guy. I mean, one take, that's got to put a lot of pressure on you guys as actors. Yeah, but when you see the film, I wouldn't want the film to be praised purely on the basis that everything is pretty much one take, but when you know that everything is pretty much one take, perhaps it's even more of a kind of, wow, how did they do this? And one of the things that I really liked about this film is I think so many times when I see a film that's set in Sweden or you know Norway or Finland, it's always focusing on like paganism or you know you look at something like Midsummer, which is you know. But here it's Christianity that's thrown into the spotlight, and that's not really something I guess that people associate with the country. So was that something that drew you in as well? Absolutely, and I think religion and monotheism are still very excuse me <clears throat> interesting and relevant topics. And the interesting thing is that Sweden pretends to be completely atheist, but in times of crisis, a lot of people run to the church, to mummy's skirts, so to speak. So that also makes the film extra relevant, I think. It explores those themes. And the other thing that I enjoy is, like, when I started watching this film, I thought, I know where this is going. And I think, you know, a lot of genre fans would probably feel the same. And then it goes somewhere different. You know, was that a similar experience for you reading the script? Did you think, oh, I know what he sent me? And then was like, oh, okay. I completely agree. One of the things I felt when I first read the script was how many different stories are there in this film some people might make 10 films to cover the material Ludwig's like I'm going to put everything in this film Lovely. and you know for the Fright Fest audience um, what do you hope that they take from this film I'd like people just to feel that everywhere in the world there are like minded people and that's what's beautiful about Fright Fest and that we're in Sweden we love horror now we're in England we love horror spookiness creepiness you know we're all a big family that has nothing to do with borders or, or other barriers. Lovely. Well, I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest of your festival. Thank you so much. Thank you.